What's up, everybody? Thank you for coming back, and we are again yet in Justin's kitchen. So today I'm gonna get straight up blunt with you guys. All right, I'm gonna make a pizza. Yes, it is dough from um, you know Pillsbury, and I don't know if you're gonna use a dough. What do you guys suggest? I mean, if you're not gonna make it at home, what would you suggest as far as making a crust, a pizza crust, whatever? Now it does say because uh, I do read the instructions, which it should not be that difficult, but I do like to stay true to what it says as far as the baking procedures. But what I do know, you can do it a couple ways. You can par bake a little bit, so you got to get a little bit of a crust going, and then pull it out and then top it, or like I'm doing is I've got it out. It's been at room temperature for, um, I'd say, a good 15 minutes. So here it is, all right? Now, I can get down on some pizza, you guys. I do a chicken bacon ranch pizza, which is amazing because I, I, I use the ranch um, with mm, a lot of butter and a lot of garlic and kind of give that a good run over on the crust, and then I just build my chicken bacon ranch. But today we're going to go, hey, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. We're going to get right into it. All right, so I have gone... I'm, I'm doing, not, this wasn't cheap, you guys, so either way you look at it, I would highly suggest if you know how to make a good sauce at home, you know how to make dough at home, spend the time, you know what you're making, you know what's in your food, always, always, always do it homemade, that's what I would say. My Nona would say the same thing, and you don't want to mess with Nona, okay, she was my Italian grandmother, so, I mean, she probably smacked me just by the thought of here I am, and not just doing it at home in secrecy, but I'm actually spreading the word, um, which, you know, I'm just joking, she would be proud of me, I think, you know? And so what I'm doing is, is I just put a little bit of the sauce on the dough here, and when I say a little bit, I think I'm going to start off with like, I don't know, I'm already halfway in, or well, about a third in, I'm going to make it about half. I'll show you. It's a little bit runny for a, from what I would think a, a good, um, you know, a good thickness would be. I, I think it would, it's a little, a little runny here, but we're going to play with it. One of my first jobs, um, in Illinois, in Pocahontas, Illinois, I was probably at the time of actually getting employed. I was probably 15, I'd say. Um, yeah, so it was one of my first jobs to learn how to cook pizzas. And it was with one of this old man who, you know, we were, we lived in a population of 800 people, 850 people. So it's not like there was a, you know, a lot of people there, um, to serve or whatever. We had one restaurant, one gas station and, uh, yeah, talk about a small little town, um, because I'm upstate New York and we live in, you know, the Wayne County area, or I do, and, um, you know, people think it's small up here and there's nothing to do and all of these things. And it's like, you don't know country, you know what I mean? You don't know a real country out there in the sticks of Illinois. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm spending a little extra time because I do want it to, I want it to be, and you want to, whenever you're making a pizza, you want this sauce to be very consistent throughout the whole dough so although it's not the best this is pretty much what it does not look good you guys I mean I think that looks pretty darn good <laughs> so what I'm going to do I think is I'm going to go ahead let that rest a little bit I think when it comes to dough you don't want to push dough into the oven the longer you let it set out the longer it rises, and I don't want to pound it down just yet with a bunch of cheese and pepperoni. So I'm going to give it about 510, and then I'll be right back with you guys. These are so thin. So while we're going to be waiting for that just to proof up, I'm going to give it another, just a couple, two, three more minutes here. 
why we do that. I wanted to ask you guys, leave a comment down below, please do. Um, number one, I think I want to start my ch uh, channel, Justin's Kitchen, here in Justin's Kitchen with Justin, um, kind of thing. Um, I, I know that in analyzing the analytics of my videos, I've noticed that people kind of tend to watch these um, more consistent than other videos, and it's not like I'm I have a character going on here or anything, but I think it's just a little fun for you and a little fun for me. You guys, it's something to be said about um, what a person eats in their day, and it, it's fun for me to share. I only wish that I had the garden that my grandma had. I only wish that I would have listened to her a little bit more about how to grow certain vegetables, herbs. She had grapes growing in Ohio. She had apple trees in Ohio and stuff, so, you know, I say if you're a child, right now and you're watching i highly suggest listen to your parents a little bit more they're not always lying they're not always joking they're not always feeding you a bunch of poo poo platter okay sometimes it's good to just listen onto your parents because you learn as you grow it's just a matter of fact right so that with that being said i do i am contemplating making a second youtube channel just for justin's kitchen um but with that also being said i wanted to tell you that even if I don't do that, I'm going to set a specific date that I will have Justin Kitchen videos coming out. And I don't know if it's going to be more a Monday or more of a leaning towards Fridays. I want to kind of analyze again what happens on YouTube and how, you know, the, the favorites of YouTube, the James Charles and the Jeffree Stars and all of that. And whenever they come out with videos and all of that, it seems like the real popular videos are leaning more between Wednesday and Friday, I'd say right now. At least that's what I'm experiencing. So I want to find my niche to where it's not so busy. And so maybe I'm going to get a little bit more um, appeal coming my way, a lot, a little bit more interest coming my way if I don't try to do it on the same days as, you know, a lot of other people. So let's go ahead and check that crust right now. Um... Yeah, I mean, I still say I want to give it a couple more minutes, you guys. So, I will be right back with you. Oh, my God. Patience is a virtue. My gosh. Okay, so we're going to get into it, you guys. I can't, I can't wait. So, I've got my cheese. And you know what you do. You know how to do this. It's not the first time you've ever watched somebody put cheese on a pizza, I'm sure. So we're just going to, and I'll show you the aftermath. It's kind of hard. I only have two hands, and I'm not that good at, you know, videotaping things anyway. So I, I'll show you what I think a, a good enough amount is not to get carried away, because I can get carried away pretty quickly. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, and you want to evenly put the chi on if you want some extra cheese. I'm not going to tell you not to. It's just... You don't have to always, you know, be so gluttony, full of glutton, whatever. And I'm not gonna, I'm not going to use all of this. Or, well, you know what? I say, but I don't mean. I say, but I don't mean. I'm just gonna use. Now this is a whole pizza, so if I use two cups, hey, you know what? Go ahead, go ahead, you guys. Splurge, splurge. Just make sure no matter how much cheese you're using, you're getting it up against those corners. Nobody likes a lot of crust. If you're a crusty, a crust, um, a person that likes a lot, um, the crust on the ends, I suggest, this is what I would do, is I would cook it about halfway, and then I would put in the microwave some butter, some garlic, and some salt, and then I would just spread over all the crust, and then, hey, you've got yourself a nice little flavorish crust, and I've done that before, so this is the beginning stage. Ooh, girl. Okay, and then I'm just going to take pepperoni, and I don't know, I because my job at one point was to make pizzas, I guess I, you never forget how to, you know, put the pizza, construct the pizza in a reasonable way, in a money-saving way for your corporate company that makes millions while you make two dollars an hour and you're so concerned about what they want yeah you are because that's who pays your 
um, pays your bills, basically. I mean, you pay your bills, but you have to work for that money, honey. So I'm just going to try to be a little less um, on the pepperonis. But again, you do as your heart desires. I love making pizzas because you can really just do whatever you want to do. As long as you don't burn the crust, I think, you know, you do it as you want. And don't listen to nobody telling you how to do what it is that makes you happy, guys. So I'm not doing extra pepperoni or anything. I guess I'm going to kind of use half of the bag. Um, well, not even really. Now, I did say to you guys, like these were jokingly, I was saying, but like these are really, really thin slices. If you bought, because you could have, I could have bought the pepperoni as a whole, you know, like a stick, if you will. Um, and cut them, cut them as thick as I wanted to. I would have liked them a little bit thicker, but you know what? I ain't got time. So I will be back. Ooh, you see, you guys, doesn't that look pretty? Doesn't that look good? I think so. Okay, so I'll be back with you when the pizza's done. Quickly, I just wanted to say, honestly, other than the cookie sheet that I used for clean, um, that I'll have to clean a little bit later, which is not going to be hard at all. It should be where you can just take the pizza right off, put it on a cutting board, and chop away. But this is the only thing that I used in order to spread the sauce on. Other than that, it's a very hands-on, very easy, four-ingredient pizza that could probably, it will feed me tonight's dinner and lunch tomorrow, and I can also share it with somebody at work tomorrow if I so choose. Um, or I could have it even for maybe a lunch for two days. I wouldn't say go past two days with the pizza, but it's up to you guys on however, if you have a family and you want to have a nice easy dinner, this literally took me approximately 10 minutes and I could have done it faster if I didn't have to make the video, which of course is my pleasure. Okay. So I, again, we will be right back with the finished product. I all right, you guys, so sorry. I just checked it. Still not done yet, but I just wanted to give it a little heads up. It's going to take just a couple of more seconds, but while I have you, I just wanted to say, too, that I can remember it's kind of nostalgic now that I'm thinking about it, but when I would go and visit my mom or out when I was staying with my mom, a real quick and easy go-to for us was is to go and grab, um, at the time, I think it was like maybe 4 or $5 for two pizzas, um, Red Baron pizzas to be specific. So if you haven't tried a Red Baron pizza frozen, um, I say go for it. And what we would do is we would basically take the kind of whatever vegetables we had hanging out in the house and we'd get the pepperoni pizza and we'd chop it up, chop it up, whatever vegetables that we had in the house that we wanted, onions, olives, whatever it was. Um, banana peppers is really good on a pepperoni pizza. Uh, but yeah, you guys, all right. Stay tuned. Promise you, next time, it will be the end result. All right? All right, guys. Here it is at the last. My take on a pepperoni pizza. So, this is how it turned out. Now, we're going to look at the back here. See, it might look a little darker for you guys, but honestly, when I'm looking at it, it's, it's fairly blonde still. It's got a nice toasted to where it's not doughy. I know it's not going to be doughy. This is like a thin crust kind of pizza. And then I put a little bit of oregano on top and then a little bit of butter and then some Parmesan cheese along the crust just because you know how we do you guys. Now gosh, you guys I Mmm. Anytime I make something at home that I think, oh, it's going to be easy and quick, just go grab it. Just go grab it from a restaurant. Go grab it from a fast food. No, man. I say, if you have a little time on your hands, get creative, you guys. All right. That's my take on a pepperoni pizza. And until next time, just fans, friends, and family, smash the subscribe button, press the like button, and give me a comment down below. You know the drill, keep your head high and your shoulders back and walk the world like you own it. Peace. Bye.